What's good, Fury here, and today we are going to be talking about Chan's instant air lightning legs. This has somehow remained in the game since it was first found, and given the fact it's actually been balanced since Beta 1, it looks like it's here to stay. To me, this is kind of exciting. Capcom have openly said they're simplifying the execution for Street Fighter 5, but this seems to be an exception. Even though it's not impossible to do, it certainly doesn't fit the standards that they've set with the rest of the game. Now since they removed the need to cancel Chun's head stomp to get around the high restriction on the lightning legs, there's tons of new ways to actually input this move. Ultimately it just comes down to your preference. Firstly, let me explain what the high restriction is and why it's important here. A common requirement in fighting games with air specials is that you reach a certain point in your jump arc before you input the special attack, and this is preventing you from doing it at any height you want to. Uh, some moves are balanced solely around the fact that you have to be at a certain point in your height for it to come out. Unfortunately, it stops you from doing a tiger knee motion to input the legs out of the air, which for some players it's going to be annoying because they've gotten used to it over the years, but for the newer players it will just feel more natural and logical to them. The first method of doing it is exactly what someone would expect if they've just picked up fighting games. You press up forward then you instantly input a court circle forward and hit kick. Due to this input being a little bit wonky you'll naturally time it to get around the height restriction unless you're particularly fast. The way I'm doing it is a little bit more elaborate but it feels more familiar to old inputs and more conventional style things. So starting with an up forward I spin the stick all the way backwards till I reach forward again. And this full rotation is just an SPD to me. In my head it just works like an SPD. It helps me time so I get around the height restriction and it just feels a lot less bizarre. But like I said it is completely up to what is comfortable for you. Now I've been going back and forth in my head on how good this actually is due to it being pretty reactable by most of the cast once you've got used to seeing it. However its purpose is just very specific and part of the more risk heavy side of Chun's arsenal. Let's look at two practical uses first and start with a basic one, the fireball game. With jumping for the most part out of the question with her, using tools like Crouch Strong to go onto fireballs or responding with her own Kokoken is very very fundamental to getting in or stopping them from moving in on you. Instant air lightning legs just adds to these tools. Unlike Crouch Strong, which is very, very vulnerable to you getting jumped in on or just reacted to, instant air legs will hit someone out of the air if they try and approach you like that. And it's just one more way to get around the fireballs. It makes them guess when coming in on you where typically they would have the advantage. And this is just a basic tool, you know? It's not the end or be all of her but it is something that you need in certain matchups in certain situations. You know, it's just the basic stuff that you need to have with your matchup knowledge. Another great use is to reset pressure against certain characters. Often with Chun-Li, you'll find yourself frame trapping from your crouch jab into stand strong and then being forced into a crouch forward or nothing. Basically, the mix up ends after two hits. You're normally too far away to go for a throw. You can only do it off the jab. So you've got one opportunity to get a mix up of them blocking an attack, which is really shit, to be honest. And instant air lightning legs kind of stops this. Um, if you've convinced someone to be scared enough, you can throw the instant air legs to the rest of the string. So you go crouch jab, stand strong, instant air legs, and be in their face. And you're at throw range one once again and it also has the ability to go through some of the opponent's normals and some of the fireballs there are different ways that this will hit the opponent but typically you're just aiming for them to block it if they do get hit by it you can go into crouch jab spinning bird kick or you can do crouch jab stand strong etc etc go into your bread and butters but if they block it it's actually zero. And zero on block typically sounds horrible, but it's actually fine for Chun. She has a free frame jab, which a lot of the cast don't, meaning she gets to frame trap some characters even from the neutral situation, because they don't have their own free frame jab. They just have to hold that. If they mash something out, you get a free counter hit. However, if they do have a free frame jab, you can just do an EX spinning bird kick straight after you land. You have all the time in the world to charge it. It's pretty good, it's an all-round great tool for just forcing pressure and forcing them to guess. 
and that's all of it. It's not ridiculously good, but it has a purpose, and that's how it should be. It's a tool for particular situations and particular matchups, which just keeps the character varied. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon. Peace.